Hi guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Kamran and you're watching my YouTube channel. Welcome back once again. And in this video tutorial, I will give you a demonstration on Tableau multi-level dendrogram chart. If you have any comment, any question regarding to the same topic, please write me in the comment section below. I will love to answer your queries. Uh, the next you will see my computer screen. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. So guys, this is my computer screen. Let's begin. Uh, by the end of today today's uh, tutorial we will able to see a chart something like something like this and to reach this first of all we need to have some data i prepare a data like this uh, see we have four columns uh, uh, some dimension it could be any dimension you have to arrange these uh, values in the same order see this contain the parent and the child below if you see now parent contain the parent value without the uh, because this this are repeating here so that's why this is the level one right and anything be, any child of this comes as sorry this come as the level two so which mean this north america already already a level one so it does not have any further parent okay so i think i am clear about it so you have to prepare the data like this uh, that parent come first and then the child similarly you have to assign the levels right parent child levels and in the parent column you just need to keep the parent no child needed here and then you can define the values values uh, accordingly so let's begin and there is one more thing you have to add a add a data uh, sheet as well called path if you don't want to add it you can just copy paste so let's begin and i'll show you how we can start with just have a new tableau file we can connect connect with the same excel i save the excel here same thing i'll drag it this way double click it you can drag the model tab which i added in the excel sheet and to add a join just uh, click on this and say one okay even here you just click on create uh, new calculated join say one so say apply okay so our join is already there and now we go to the sheets and now before we continue i will show you that we need this many calculations here which i already write it here i will provide all this detail into the into the description of this video so if you uh, if you you just need to follow and copy paste and create your calculated field accordingly so let's begin first of all we need to create a path bin create bins and give a size equal one say okay and then we need some parameters field create parameter i already mentioned in this uh, document you you just copy uh, let's say this name and you can name it here you can give a string and list and add the value from the dimension oh sorry add the values from the parent say current value you can choose it south america okay so now we have first parameter ready now we need another parameter we'll go to the uh, document again and copy the another uh, sorry para uh, another parameter values we name it here we we'll make it float just give the value zero and say okay so we have two parameter ready now it's turn to have uh, some calculated field so create calculation one you can copy the calculation this one we call it filter you can filter and now you can copy the formula say apply and and now another calculation go to the this is the calculation for the level copy paste the values and the formulas i am doing this to give a quick guide to you that's why i just make a everything ready for my for my video if you have any comment any question you can raise it to me so i will reply in the comments so similarly we'll need another calculated field we call it rank it's just the ordering and the sorting of the bars in the randogram chart and now we need the x x calculation create calculated field sorry x and now here you can write the formula similarly column this is basically instead of x we use this column uh, function because we already writing 
further calculation onto the x right so just say apply and go to the sigmoid this is an function you can google it uh, to get more detail about it sorry create calculated field sigmoid basically a function which resemble the s sign so if you see this chart it's look like lot of s signs uh, upward and down direction so which which uh, which is possible by using this formula and now why create calculate field call it y option y the formula just copy paste apply max value of y table calculation max value of y just use the name here and the formula and the last calculation we need we call it zero basically this is nothing but a placeholder and you can say okay so now it's begin it's time to begin with the chart we'll just copy this as a name give the chart name and here instead of uh, automatic we'll select line first of all we'll drag the filter into the filter panel and select true say apply okay and then we'll choose the path bin go to the column shelf and see if or show missing values checked or not you make sure it should be checked in and then bring it into the path bring the dimension into the detail level need to be converted in dimension and then bring into the color shelf and yeah it's all pretty much done then bring the column into the column shelf and bring y into the row shelf go to the y right click and say compute using bin even the column need to be right click and say compute using bin and after that right click on to the uh, y pill go to the edit table calculation select y make sure dimension also selected and then you can uh, uh, choose this uh, drop down option and go to the rank value and make sure that dimension only selected so our endogram multi level chart is almost uh, almost ready uh but before this we need some more calculation more more uh, adjustment what we'll do we'll bring the uh, bring the dimension into the labels and then we'll bring the table values table value to the label as well and to format this we'll go and say format here we'll say custom number sorry standard alone number and in the labels we'll make it uh, category board yeah apply and and now uh now what next now to move this uh, see this in in an action we'll add the zero into the detail as well convert the zero into the discrete and then now we need to add some actions go to the worksheet add some actions add actions parameter change filter action we'll select the first parameter we'll select the dimension set okay add another action parameter action change parameter action we call it region here we will select y and here we'll select none and say okay and then we need another action we call it highlight highlight selected field called zero and say okay and say okay now if you select anything so it will show you the specific drill down values for specific object you see that this so, alhamdulillah we are done with the chart with the with the with the dendrogram multi level chart and uh, and to to customize it we we'll just need to hide the headers and i'll give a good colors level 1 should be blue level 2 should be green okay and i'll give the value to a size and i can increase the size It's up to you how you want to see and then i will go to the format of the chart i will give the background black 
I like black so that's why I don't like to see the distribution so I will just make it none just follow this step so it will be clean nice and clean multi level just click on that one make it white bold it's up to you what size you want to give and and I think we are done